Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Maxwell Alexander, and you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. everyone so I know it has been a long time coming um, but I am finally 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 back here on YouTube and obviously I have a very special guest with me today did you want to introduce yourself darling hello I'm Isabel so anyway, today I have a very special guest with me. I have Isabel here with me. I did her grad makeup for her and um, she shouted it out, um, put it on Instagram and stuff like that. And everybody basically back in the town that I was living before, I ended up getting actually really busy just from doing some of your makeup, which was like really, really exciting. Uh, so anyway, she is back and I am going to glam her up. Um, I'm pretty sure she has given me permission to do whatever I want. Just don't shave my eyebrows. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm totally going to. Oh. Where's my razor? <laughs> okay. She's given me free range to basically do um, basically whatever I want. So today we are going to be doing a fun holiday look. Um, very very simple, very easy, uh, easy to put together. We are going in with some extreme highlighting. We are going to do some very, very nice blush. We are going in with some glitter today, which is going to be super, super exciting because I freaking love glitter. Also, if you guys are wondering why I sound so raspy, I got super sick from a friend of mine uh, about a week and a half ago, and uh, my throat is still, my throat is still really sore, so I'm on the water. But before we get into the makeup, um, do you want to talk about yourself a little bit? Like, what are you doing now? You said that you were back in school. Yeah, I'm getting my history degree at university. And You're I'm getting a history degree? Yeah. That sounds amazing. Kind of boring, but amazing. I mean, human sacrifice is pretty interesting sometimes. When I call up some of my ex-boyfriends, do you have, like, have you learned about, like, how they did it and stuff like that? Because I want to know. I have a couple exes out there that need to be human sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have an Aztec temple or a we volcano. Could, we could make one. We could make one in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have that many friends? Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? I okay. have so many. I have so many exes. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Mm -hmm. You're all gonna die. So today we're going in with her own foundation. This is the CoverGirl Outlast. Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I didn't have her shade, so I asked her to bring hers with her in shade 905, and this bottle is 30 milliliters. We're gonna go in with a couple pumps on a beauty blender. Just gonna dab this all over your face, your beautiful face. I was vomiting at grad, so I trust you. Well, that's good. You should trust me, because my makeup skills have gotten a hell of a lot better since then. Some people's makeup skills just, they just don't. Like, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I mean, there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm in a new place. I moved. Um, I finally got out of Strathmore. I couldn't stand being there anymore. It was just, it's such a, I don't even know how to explain the town of Strathmore, to be perfectly honest. It's one of those towns where it's like, you want to live there, because it's so pristine and wide open spaces and you know the atmosphere and stuff like, like just like being around like Kinsman Lake and stuff like that it's really beautiful but I think it's the people that make the town so bad personally it's the small town everyone knows everyone yeah, that's what I hate I mean don't get me wrong like, I, like, obviously I wouldn't be doing YouTube if I didn't want people to know who I was, but as a makeup artist, but, like, I don't need you, like, knowing every single part of my personal business, like, shit, bitch. Like, I hate that. I hate the fact that everybody knows what you're up to, where you work, what you're doing, like. So now that we are done with the foundation, we are going in with the NYX HD Con uh, Studio Photogenic Concealer. This is, I think, $10, and this is in the shade 
CW2. It's light enough that it won't give her any sort of flashback, but it will also just help brighten up these under eye areas for her as well. Concealer is the way to go, especially if you're in school. Like, I mean, I can only imagine you probably wake up and you've got like black huge bags underneath your eyes because you've been up until like three o'clock in the morning studying. I went to school for makeup, but that was about it. I like dropped out and went to makeup school. Beauty school drop out. No graduation day for you, beauty school dropout. Oh fuck, I love Greece. They have it on Netflix now, oh my god. I want to go, I want to go see it. Wow, I have a fucking TV behind me and I want to go and see the movie in the theater. I love that movie, my parents showed it to me and I fell in love. The song at the very end is absolutely amazing and I will, uh, Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta are my heroes. But we've all wanted to date a Danny. That is true, like I would love, would have loved to have dated a Danny, but fortunately it was not in the cards for me, hence the human sacrifice. <laughs> That's the one thing I hate about waterproof mascara, is like, it's a bitch to get off. Like you gotta get like a pound of makeup remover just to get that shit off, like that's retarded. We're gonna draw a heart right here. Because we love her! Yes, queen. It's not a target. No, it's not a target, I promise. <laughs> Could you imagine just bullseye? It's not the right spot. So now we're just highlighting the um, main features of her face. Because when we do that gorgeous, gorgeous highlight on the tip of the nose, it's really going to make it stand out. Not only that, but also we're going to use a highlighting powder over top of that so that you keep that definition in her face as well. Because that is very, very, very important. What made you want to take history? Um, I turn this I way. like wars. You like what? I like wars and studying the way it happens and what causes oh, situations. Oh, okay. So if we study the history of it, we can prevent it from happening. Oh, I see. So you want to be like Tom Hanks and like the Da Vinci Code and stuff like that. You're going to be the person everybody comes to going, what do we do? The whole world's going to need me. That's going to be absolutely fabulous. I am so happy for you. How long is the course though? Four years. Four years? Holy shit. If I had to go back to school for four years, I probably, I, I don't know what I do. I do something though. Go into debt and drink. Yeah, there you go. I become an alcoholic. No, I become a drunk because alcoholics go to meetings. Let's just get that clear. You go to a Christian school. Yep. And you're hanging out with a gay boy. Yeah. Can we talk about irony here? <laughs> Thank you. To set the concealer, we're going in with the Smashbox Contour and Highlight Palette. And we're just stapling this into the skin here. You're not allowed to drink at the school. No. That sucks for you. Do you drink? Sometimes. Oh my god, me and you need to go out and get loaded one night. I can't believe you're not allowed to drink at your school. That sucks. So you're not allowed to drink all winter long. Like, not even at Christmas? Glass of wine at Christmas? Are you kidding me? If I can't have a glass of red wine with my freaking turkey dinner, I would sue. What's your, what's your drink of choice? Uh, probably Smirnoff. Smirnoff? Like Smirnoff ice or Smirnoff vodka? Both. Both? I usually go for the ice though, because it's... It's sweet and... Tastes like lemonade. Yeah, basically. And you get really drunk off of them when you drink like an entire 12 pack to yourself because they're so sweet and you don't even realize that you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, been there, got the t-shirt, came back. Now that your face is set, we're going to take a spoolie. We're just going to run through your brows. So we're going in with the Annabelle Medium Brown uh, Eyebrow Pencil. Um, because you are not quite, you're not quite dark, but you're also not quite light either. And the look that I'm going to do on you, I want your, uh, your eyes to really look bright and open. So we're going with a little bit of a lighter color. So we're actually going to do her brows and stuff like that off camera. When I come back, I will be starting on the eyeshadows and stuff like that. And I will also be zooming in the camera. Uh, so that uh, we can make that happen. 
Anyway, we will be right back. All right, so now that her foundation, concealer, and her brows are finished, we are finished with the base of her face. So to prime her eyes today, I could get the words out of my mouth. <laughs> um, we are going in with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. This is one of my all time favorite uh, eyeshadow primers. It goes on so smooth and so creamy. It's just amazing. And the blendability of this is absolutely incredible. So we're just going to take a little bit of this on the back of the hand here. And kind of move the product around on your hand, kind of melt it down just a little bit, and then just take it right on the eyes, and you're gonna coat the entire eye area with this product. And apparently, Smashbox now also has an under eye primer, which I am dying to get my hands on because I have heard nothing but amazing things about it. I am a Smashbox whore to the nines. I absolutely love them. Most of the products that we're using today are from Smashbox. I don't know what it is about their brand, but it works so well for me, and it works great on my clients. They absolutely love their makeovers when I'm finished with them. Hopefully you will too. <laughs> um, but it is just absolutely amazing, amazing brand. Smashbox, if you're watching this, sponsor me. Send me some free stuff to review, because I will, because you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so this primer has always been my go-to eyelid primer. And using this primer, I just cut out the underneath of the brow to give it that really nice sharp line there. Yes, queen. Don't make me take an eyebrow off. I'll cut you. <laughs> I will cut you. The makeup ninjas. Um, the makeup ninjas. Whooshing! All right, so now that the eyelids are primed, I'm going to start with a transition shade. Not apricot, abricot, um, by Lise Swatier. It is this beautiful, beautiful apricot kind of shade. And we are going to use this as a transition shade using a nice fluffy brush here. And this is basically just gonna go into the crease and this is gonna help the rest of the shadows blend really, really, really nicely. So, how was your grab, by the way? It was pretty good. That's good. Lots of talking and speeches. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Is it boring? Like, I never went to graduation, so like, tell me, like, what's the rundown? Like, how does it work? Well, you walk in, and you're like, gowns and everything, you sit in this stance. No, oh, dear God. And you sit here, like this, for five hours. Five hours? Probably. Oh, like, oh, are, are you talking like one of those like graduation gowns? Yep. Oh, dear you God. Up, you sit there. I'd there. be sweating bullets. I'd be like, somebody kept me out of this thing and into my mini dress immediately. <laughs> Most people wore short shorts and a tank top underneath those. Uh, yeah, I can only imagine. Then they call up your name. You walk across and they say your little speech you wrote for them to say. <laughs> and then you sit on the other side for a long time. And oh, dear God. And then there's people who are just like subtly drinking in the back where no one knows. Oh, my God. And then, like, what did you guys do for, like, an after party here? Like, um, did you after party? Yeah. Like, after that, we went, had a break to take photos and everything. Right. And then we go for dinner. And you walk across the stage in your dress. Uh huh. Then we go back to the school and we walk around the gym in our dresses and do the super additives. Like, we voted who sleeps the most. <laughs> who the most likely to procrastinate, the person with the oh best socks. Oh my god. Stuff like that. That's too funny. And then some people had after parties. We went to safe grad. Meaning if you're 18, not 18, you can't drink. So you get your 18 year old friend to buy you a drink and then you drink. No, that's when you just dip and go to a house party. <laughs> I am not condoning underage drinking by any means necessary. Only I had friends at parties. I <laughs> could have come to my house. I've always got a bar stocked. Well, normally I do. Right now I'm dry. Sucks. All right, so now we are going in with one of my all-time favorite palettes, 
This is the Smashbox Cover Shots Palette in Golden Hour. The I have three of these palettes. I have the Golden Hour, I have the Bold Palette, and I have the New Ablaze Palette. These palettes are absolutely amazing. The pigmentation of these, there is a little bit of fallout, but I find if you tap your brush off first, then you're pretty okay. Um, but for the quality of um, shadows and how pigmented they are, $35, guys, $35 for these palettes. They are so cheap and they are absolutely amazing. I will probably end up having every single one of them and buying multiples because they are just so fabulous. I absolutely, absolutely love these palettes. But for today, um, one of them that we're going in with is this Smashbox Golden Hour Palette. And we're going in with this cute little purple color that we're going to put in sure. the crease here. And then we're also going to be going in with another color um, over top of this, Let me turn this way for me. Uh, going in with another color over top of this just to really deepen up this crease because we really want the crease to be nice and dark because we're going to be doing glitter and we really want the glitter to pop and give us that like super like ah <laughs> this ablaze palette which is another one that I have been absolutely loving and we are going to run this just underneath your eye. So there's a red shade in here that is absolutely glorious. And it's this nice red shade right here that I'm going to be using. Looking good, girl. Looking good. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take the tiniest amount of black shadow and we're gonna use that to smoke out this gorgeous red and we're just going to be putting a very, very tiny bit. This is the Full Exposure Palette, by the way, by Smashbox. This is an absolutely amazing palette. It's obviously been very well used because all of my clients love it, but it's got all the shimmers and all the mattes on the bottom. I love this, it's a perfect neutral palette. It's great for if you're just, you know, like on the run and you just wanna create a quick look, this is a go-to palette for that. This has been in my, this is always in my kit. It never ends up not being in my kit, so it is a must, must have. I think the reason we met is because of Smashbox. I think so too. I was working at Shoppers Drug Mart at the time, holla, um, as a makeup artist, and you had come into the store. Uh, first it was at the station because I saw your lipstick. Right, and you asked me what color it was. Yeah. Uh, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And now we're going to go back in with that red color just a touch. And waitressing has connections. Yes. Well, and me being a makeup artist, I love to go out. Like, I love to be out in makeup. And so I always get questions all the time like that. Like, I'll have people come up to me and be like, Oh my god, I love your makeup. What kind of eyeshadow were you wearing? What's your lipstick? What kind of mascara do you use? Like, I get it all the time. And it's always from like servers at restaurants or like cashiers and stuff like that. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, I really do appreciate it. But at the same time, it's like when you're standing, like you weren't like this at all. But there are some waitresses out there that I've had. Some girls will stand there for 20 minutes and talk to me about my makeup. And before I'm even able to order, and I'm like, girl, seriously, shut up. I want to order. Like, enough talking about my makeup. I know I look good. Thanks. Bye. Like, here's my card. Here's my card. Order whatever you want and bring it to the table. I'm starving. <laughs> so now what we are going to do is we are going to go in with some eyeliner. Um, we are yet again using the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in Fishnet. This is my go-to, this is my go-to liner for, um, black liner. Uh, I know lots of people like the Max Smolder Eye Pencil, um, because it's super creamy and it just glides right on. This, I swear by it, is way better than the MAC. It is just absolutely incredible. If you're going to go and get a liner, 
Go and get the Smashbox Always On Gel Liners. They are amazing and I will show you right now. So look way up. So this is just going right into your waterline here. You know what? We're going to go in with the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and we're going to use one of my all time favorite shimmers for this inner corner here. And then we are doing glitter all over the lid and it is going to look stunning, hunty. Okay. Using a very, very small uh, triangular packing brush, we are going to go in with this kind of coppery peach shimmer. As I said before, they are shimmer and they, these ones tend to be really, really chunky. I don't know if it's the glitter in them or if it's the actual formula, but they do seem to be a little bit chunky and they do have a little bit of fallout, but once they are on the eye, they stay put and just brush away any of that fallout. And now we are going in with my favorite ever. We are going to be going in with the Stila um, Magnificent Glitters, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in shade Diamond Dust. I also have it in the shade Kitten and Smoky Satin. I absolutely love these. These are absolutely incredible. Um, they work so amazing close and literally all you do is just kind of press it right onto the eyelid and it just stays. And then what you can do is using that same brush that we used before, that same fluffy brush, we're going to go back into our golden hour and we're going to go back in with that purple shade. We're gonna go back in with this purple shade right here. And we're just going to blend out that glitter just a touch. And also put a little bit of the purple eyeshadow over top of the glitter just to blend it into this uh, outer corner here. It's really making it look very, very seamless. Alrighty, so now that the glitter has been applied, and she is looking super, super glamorous and very holiday-like. We are going to be going in with a little bit of mascara. Her lashes are super, super, super long. So today's mascara, I am going to be using the Great Lash, lots of lashes from uh, Maybelline. We're only going to do a small coat. She doesn't need any fake lashes at all because her lashes are freaking gorgeous like I'm super jealous of your lashes like oh my god when you guys see these like it's gonna blow your socks off all right so now that the eyes are complete now it is time to move on to some contour blush and highlight we are going in with the Smashbox contour and highlight palette uh, to contour her today and we're going to use this nice cool tone just to bring some definition back and then we're gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer not too much because we don't want her to look too tan we want her to still be very nice and fair it is the holidays after all unless you just got back from Mexico you should not look tan today for blush we're going in with the Sephora blush palette um, this one is absolutely amazing this came out this summer um, for her, because her eyes are already really dark, we're going to keep her blush very light. So I'm going to go in with this nice pink shade here, and we are just going to blush up the cheeks just a little bit. So just putting it on the apple of the cheek and then running it straight back over that cheekbone just to give her some really, really nice color to her face. I really want her to be a little bit more rosy today as it is cold outside. So you want that kind of flushness coming back to the cheeks. It really, really works for holiday um, because everybody has those rosy cheeks during the holiday season. So now for a highlight, we are going in with, of course, Stila, the Heavensly, Heavens Hue Highlighter. I keep on wanting to say Heavenly Hues Highlighter, but it's the Heaven's Hue Highlighter. And this is like a cream 
formula. I know I said in another one that it was like a putty. It's not technically a putty, it's more like a cream, but it has like that putty feel to it. And this is just going on those high points of the cheeks and we are also going to bring it just around the side of your temples a little bit. It's just gonna give it that really, really bright intensity. Not only that, but also when you're wearing sunglasses and if you have your hair pulled back like in a ponytail and you turn to the side, people will be like, oh damn, bitch be blinded. That's a little good. Yeah, there we go. Screw human sacrifice, we'll just burn them to death. Well, and they're all vampires, so as soon as they see daylight and they're screwed. <laughs> She's like, girl, if I could wake up like that every day, I would. So now that we're finished with the Stila, I am going in with, I actually like comparing this to um, Jeffree Star's um, Ice Cold. Obviously it's not going to be as blinding, but um, putting this on top of a um, kind of cream formula to help set it really just like amps up the highlight. This is the NYX Illuminator. This stuff is absolutely in freaking credible. I use this on all of my clients. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites to use. Um, and this literally just like, it gives you that uh, kind of highlight. Like when you see it and you like feel it and you're looking in the mirror, you're just like, ooh, yes. Uh. Give it to me, baby. Oh, yes. By the way, she hasn't taken a look this entire time, so she has absolutely no idea what she looks like. I know my brows are good. She knows her brows are good because I asked her, because it's like one of my pet peeves if my clients don't like their brows. Drives me crazy. Um, but yeah, no, other than that, she hasn't seen anything, so for all she knows, I'm making her look like a complete and total clown. And we're also going to put this just underneath her brow bone here, just to really lift her eyes and make them look a little bit bigger. And it's also just gonna give that shadow just that extra little bit of something something. It's a great way to um, just make your eyes pop a little bit extra if you want that little bit of extra in you or if you have that little bit of extra in you that you need that then you can do it you don't have to I mean some people do some people don't I like to because I just think it adds that extra little bit of ah. and there we are so now the only thing left is lips and I was lucky enough um, to get this um, it is the Smashbox Lip Palette. These are all the Be Legendary lipsticks. Uh, there is Cognac, Pretty, Pretty Social, Inspiration, First Time Matte, Jam on, Jam on It Matte, and Bling Matte. Um, these are some absolutely amazing colors. It comes in a small little palette like this. It's got a little mirror. It's super super cute. It is perfect for your purse, it's perfect for your kit if you're a makeup artist, this is a go-to. Now, because we did such an amazing glam look, I'm going to stick with something neutral and matte for her today, for her lips, and we're just going to go in with this little Quo lip pencil, or lip brush here, and we're going to go in with the color called Bing Matte, because I think it will offset this makeup quite, quite, quite nicely. Okay, close. Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the final look. Does she not look super holiday, glamorous, ready to hit the town on Christmas Eve, girl? Get that rum and eggnog, hello. I absolutely love, sorry? I feel like you should have a glass of wine. I know, right? Absolutely. So, are you ready to see yourself? Yes. Are you sure? I don't know. You tell me. So, what do you think? That is glad. So, what do you think? I like the sparkles. Yeah? Last time I tried to do the sparkles, it didn't work. I haven't touched it. 
Mason Holiday has expected like blue and snowflakes. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being on my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sure everybody at home appreciates you being here too. If you guys enjoyed watching me do makeup on Isabel and you want Isabel to come back, please give it a huge thumbs up. It would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook right here. Um, it is www.facebook.com forward slash makeup by Maxwell. You can check out all of my updates if you would like to book an appointment with me, um, if you want some makeup tips. Uh, or anything like that, you can always check out all of my information down there. Um, again, thank you so much for coming and letting me do this glam look on you. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. I hope you feel absolutely incredible in this and hopefully we'll finally land her a boyfriend. Um, until then though, we will see you guys all later. As always, peace, love, and hugs. Bye guys! Mwah.